quintessential daily requirement of one and all, from infants to the aged. Imagine beginning your day without the morning cup of tea. And the fresher the milk, the more enjoyable the tea, right? All milk is the same, albeit from different sources. Whether it is the milk brought in cans by your Dudwala or the milk purchased by us from private milk vendors or the government and cooperative dairy milk packed in poly packs, the long lasting milk in tetra packs. Over and above this are the categories of cow's milk, buffalo's milk, etc. Do these different sources indicate different methods of drawing milk? Why not find out for ourselves? This is the age-old traditional method of milking cows and buffaloes. The method which man used to satisfy his desire for the wholesome food that is milk. Do you remember the earlier times when milk thus drawn used to be delivered at your doorstep by the Dudwala in milk cans that hung from his bicycle? Now however, these same cans are transported on a motorcycle which indicates a small yet significant technical progress which saves both time and energy. Does this mean that a similar progress has taken place in the actual milking process? Yes, of course. Even the milking process has improved. Let me demonstrate it to you. This is the bucket milking system. The required amount of vacuum is created in the pipe by means of a vacuum pump. The cluster is attached to the other which is previously cleaned either with water or a wet cloth and thus begins the milking process. The vacuum controlled by a pulsator enables tender handling of the udder and this process is much quicker than the traditional method. Machine milking enables optimum utilization of the animal's lactating capacity and thus results in higher milking yields. A single cluster can milk 8 to 10 animals per hour which means both time and energy saved. Absence of manual handling guarantees utmost cleanliness. Both women and children can operate this machine. Shri Sakharam Kanchan, a user of this machine says, I have been using this machine for the past four months. It helps in yielding cleaner milk more quickly with less labor. Actually, manual milking tends to harm the other, whereas machine milking does not. Those who have 10 to 15 animals must install this machine. Shri Sakharam Kanchan could use this system as he has the lesser number of milch animals. However, what if the herd size is bigger? RTS or round the shed milking system is more convenient and profitable. Mr. Jayant Ranade, a user of this system says, I adopted the RTS system because I own 54 buffaloes and milking them manually is practically impossible. The RTS system is meant for cattle tied in sheds, a method generally adopted in our country. This system can be installed in the existing shed itself with a few changes and is more useful. The RTS system consists of the vacuum pump, milking clusters, milk carrier pipes, milk receiver unit and automatic cleaning machine.
In the RTS system, the animals can be milked at their respective places, with four animals being milked simultaneously with these clusters and just one person operating all the four clusters. There is no manual handling at all since the milk is carried directly from the udder to the tank through the pipeline. Time and manpower required is less and this enables me to put these men on other jobs, which is why I adopted the RTS system. The vacuum pump creates the vacuum required for the milking process. A single vacuum tap and milk tap is fitted between two buffaloes. It is important to routinely clean the udder and test the milk sample prior to commencing the milking process. This is followed by the fixing of clusters. The milk from the clusters comes into the steel pipes through the milk tubes. A unit called DOVAC is also included in this system in order to induce lactation in the buffaloes. A milkoscope measures the milk obtained. Four buffaloes can be milked simultaneously with four clusters. The number of clusters depends on the herd size. For example, four cluster units are sufficient for a herd size of 50 animals. As mentioned earlier, in the RTS system, the milk is transported from the animal directly to the end receiver unit through stainless steel pipes. From here, it is taken to the bulk milk cooler or dump tank for storage. After the milk from the milk tube stops flowing through, it indicates the end of the milking process. The clusters are then removed and dipping is carried out. The most important step following the milking process is the cleaning of the system. The milking clusters are cleaned with the help of the WA3 washer. Any traces of remnant milk are removed by introducing a sponge plug into the stainless steel pipes. Subsequently, the pipes are cleaned with cold water and detergent mixed hot water is then circulated through them. Now the system is ready yet again for the next session. I have procured the RTS system through Alpha Laval Agri. This entire project has been carried out on a turnkey basis by them. 
all the equipments work excellently and in spite of my farm being in such a remote place, I get very good service from them. The modernization in dairy farming does not end here, but reaches to the ultra-modern stage, which is... This is Asia's first dairy farm to be installed with a milking parlor and the Alpro feeding system. Sri Nana Sahib Chitale, the pioneer of modern Indian dairy farming says, We have built this farm, the biggest in Asia, using the latest technology. This is the loose housing system where the animals move freely with a feeding station containing feed concentrate installed. Here, the animals are fed the required amount of feed, thereby improving their digestive capacity and getting higher yield at lower cost. Since the animals move freely, they can graze at their leisure and drink water from the drinking bowl. The installation of the Alpro feeding system allows cattle to move freely. Every animal has a neck band fastened to its neck bearing its number and a magnetic transponder. The silo is used for storage of the feed concentrate. The computer identifies the animal from its magnetic transponder after it enters the feeding station. As the computer already has data about each animal, only the required quantity of feed is dispersed for every animal. Clean drinking water is kept in these drinking bowls for the animals to drink as and when they wish to. The young ones of animals too have a similar milk and concentrate feeding station. Cleanliness of the shed is extremely important. This can be taken care of by an automatic manure scraper run by a hydraulic pump. The manure is gradually scraped by this machine and disposed into a pit outside the shed. An ultra-modern milking parlor using the latest technology has been installed here. The computer identifies the animal and gauges the milk yield. It also gives important information about breeding of the animal. This helps the dairy farmers to look after the management of their farms and the welfare of the animals, thus increasing the productivity. From the shed, the animals are brought in groups and cleaned before being milked. Here is the milking parlor.
the cleaned animals are permitted into the parlor according to its capacity. This parlor is capable of milking 10 animals simultaneously. After the animal enters and occupies its place, the door automatically closes. In the parlor system, a single person can handle all the jobs like cleaning the udder, testing milk samples, attaching clusters, etc. just standing in one place. Five milking units can be operated single-handedly. Data regarding the animal's number, its milk yield, etc. is stored in the computer through the milking point controller via the transponder on the animal's neck. The milk from the clusters is brought by the milk line to the end receiver from where it is then stored in a bulk milk cooler or storage tank. An automatic cluster removal system can be installed in order to enable the automatic removal of clusters. Infection to the udder can be prevented by spraying a disinfectant on them at the end of the milking process. Once the process is over, the animals exit after the door opens automatically.